Hi everybody, Crazy Eddie here. It looks kind of like other people have already moved out. I haven't been on for a few days, but there hasn't been a whole lot of change on the server. Or at least not in the main base. So either people haven't been coming in, or they've moved out to other bases. And that's cool. I've been thinking about the same thing myself. So we've got a cobble gen here. I could pick up a whole bunch of cobble or just a whole bunch of uh, wood and just go somewhere and start building a house. But that's not the crazy anyway. I was thinking about building my house in the sky out of clouds. And I've got a pretty good jetpack, so I could just go up there and start mining them. But again, not the crazy anyway. We're going to build a cloud miner. You see, Jockmel and I noticed the other day that Project Red now has frames. And some of you may remember this from the original Red Power mod. Frames were basically a way of moving constructs of blocks around. Kind of like funky locomotion, but Red Power did it first. And I don't think it's really unfair to say that they did it best. Eloram, the original modder who created Red Power, which Project Red is based on, is simply amazing. And I don't have a screwdriver. Now I have a screwdriver. So, where was I? Oh yes, Eloram. The original modder behind Red Power was absolutely amazing. And I'm sure she still is, she's just making a living at it now instead of building fun stuff for the rest of us to play with. The original Red Power mod was just getting around to frames after having added a tube system and so many other things that have actually become staples in Forge that don't even bear her name anymore. Things like the Forge multi-part and this little saw here. I think the modding community is actually still catching up with her work. And I just don't think enough can ever really be said about her genius as far as it's affected the modded Minecraft community. Me, I'm doing well if I can get all these frame motors pointed the right direction. At any rate, the whole point of this assembly is to make a machine that will move itself around in the sky one block at a time and using a few extra other parts pick up all these cloud blocks. Anyway, 
If you set these 12 motors upright, what you have is what we call an inchworm drive. And you can find them all over the YouTubes. You can just uh, look up 3-axis inchworm drive. I got the tutorial for this one off of a tuber named Duguk. And I will try to remember to include his link at the bottom of the description here. And I will be able to demonstrate it as soon as these motors light up blue. The motors do still conduct electrotine power, which is what we used to call blutricity. And there we are. And they're, well, they're activated by a redstone signal. When I flip this, it'll activate this motor down here, which will kick this one out, which will put it in range of that redstone signal, and at which point it will grab the frame and push this whole construct over. And since we have these set up to go in every direction, we can take this anywhere we like. Of course, we can't change directions with it. And since this mod is just a little bit different than the old Red Power, I've managed to make a couple of improvements, too. Most specifically, I've managed to wrap the, all these switches up to the top. So that I can control that all from one easy location. But that also has come with the unexpected side effect that these alloy wires reset whenever they move which means that they resend the move impulse, which in turn means that when I flip the switch, it keeps on moving until I flip it off. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Except now that I'm bragging about it, it doesn't do it. How oh, very odd. Still, it works exactly as advertised, so pretty pleased. Now I just need to work on the mining part. To achieve that, I'm using block breakers from Project Red, which work pretty much like uh, you would expect block breakers to work. You give them a redstone signal, they break the block in front of them, and deposit them in the inventory behind them. I'd really like if I could put them in the shape of a wall, but
these things will not break a block and deposit into a pipe behind them. If I could pipe things out of the block breakers and send a redstone signal through the same pipe, that would actually make this a lot easier. It would also make it feasible for underground use, which it is sadly not. because I'm going to have to have a row of redstone along either the top or the bottom which cannot have a block breaker in front of it. Well, it could, but then I just have to set another row of uh, redstone on top of it and so on. But for a cloud miner, I think it'll be quite suitable. Alright, I believe this cloud miner is ready to go. Hmm. I've run that motor out of power. I may just build another generator and stick it up here just for emergencies. Yep, I think that's what I'll do. Alright, I've added a generator to the system and it seems to be doing the trick. Next test will be to see if the block breakers work properly and if I can pick up those clouds with them. Okay, we have arrived at cloud level at a Y of 212. And we are ready to try mowing down some clouds. And we push the munch button, which should activate the block breakers. So 
so we should have some clouds in here. Excellent. So what is the purpose of this on Thursday? Uh, the purpose of it is to uh, basically quarry the clouds. What do you get from the clouds? Actually, I was thinking I would build my next house out of clouds. Oh, cool. Once he's done quarrying the clouds, you can repurpose it to basically consume the world. Yeah, except there's one little problem. Uh, you can't have the block breakers go directly into a pipe. So they, you have to, yeah, so I have to have one row of redstone across the top, which means I can't actually dig a tunnel with it. I can't dig a tunnel with it, so it, it wouldn't work underground, for instance. It, why do you need the row of redstone across the top that I don't understand? Uh, to activate the uh, block breakers, to give them a redstone signal to activate them. Oh, and you can't activate them from behind because that's pumping out to a chest or whatever. Right. Why don't they go directly into a pipe? I don't know. They just they, they will only go into a uh, into an inventory. Hmm. At least for my creative tests, if you can find a way to do it, that would probably save me some time. I don't know of one. But yeah, you could you could at least dig a uh like you could take off the top you know, eight layers or whatever at a time in an area. Yeah. How often does the, uh, how often does a server restart? I don't think it's set to auto restart. Does it need to be restarted? Oh, I don't suppose so. I mean, I've got these chests sitting here in the air, but uh, I don't think they're hurting anything. They're causing Tim to disconnect. No, not anymore. I mean, I don't even see any chests anymore. Oh, you don't? Nope. Maybe reconnecting caused him to go away. Let me try re-logging real quick. And yeah, all the chests some... disappeared. Oh, the, the, uh, the portal disappeared off of here when it moved. Yeah, <laughs> you can't stay on a mobile surface. I figured I knew that, that was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen, but I wanted to see if Tim went up there without the ability to fly and then try, got stuck up there and had to jump down. But since he doesn't take fall damage, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> here. Here, how about there? Hold my beer. <laughs> Why are you guys mad at me? I did feed you yesterday. Don't lie, Eric. Is that better? I died from fall damage, Eric. Happy? I wasn't there to see it. Oh, Do over. over. Well, I'd say that's gone pretty well. I'm gonna go collect some more clouds. Next episode. Perhaps I'll get around to some building. I'm sure I'll get around to something. In the meanwhile, be sure and check out my videos. Check out that other tutorial for the frame machines. Have some fun, build something cool, and have a nice day.